What is going on guys? This is Ben here. It has been 100% confirmed that legendary Pokemon will be coming to Pokemon Go. For the first one will be over the weekend at Grant Park in Chicago. And then if we beat that legendary Pokemon there, it will be released worldwide. There is a little other things to go with that to unlock it. I'll discuss that in a little bit here. And there's a whole lot of other information to cover. So if you have any questions that I've missed in the video, leave them down below, but be sure to watch the video. Other than that, once again, thank you to Niantic for sponsoring me and bringing me out to Pokemon Go Fest. I cannot wait to cover the event for you guys now that we're knowing 100% that legendaries will be there. It's going to be an awesome time just having like upwards of 12,000 trainers there trying to catch it. The experience for that is going to be amazing, so stay tuned for the videos on that. But yeah, there's a lot of information to cover, so bear with me and let's get into it. So I'm just going to read the official Niantic post here and then I'll discuss it after. So on July 22nd, thousands of trainers in Grant Park for Pokemon Go Fest and millions of trainers around the world will be working together to unlock in-game bonuses for the entire Pokemon Go community, which means everyone, if they manage to catch enough Pokemon during the Pokemon Go Fest challenge windows. I'll talk about that in a little bit. The first legendary Pokemon will be revealed in Grant Park. And that means only one legendary Pokemon. The first legendary Pokemon will be revealed in Grant Park. So only one. I know in the trailer, if you guys did not see the trailer for the release for the legendary Pokemon, I'll leave that in the description below. But basically it had a whole bunch of legendaries. It had the Generation 2 legendary Burge, which was, which was Lugia and Ho-Oh. And then also it had the Gen 1 legendary Burge, Zapdos, Moltres, Articuno, and it had Mewtwo. And the only other legendary Pokemon that were not seen in there were the mythical legendary Pokemon, which are Mew and Selby, which honestly, I believe they're going to have separate events for the mythical Pokemon because they're on their different rarity tier of their own, I guess. And then the legendary dogs, uh, which are Entei, Raikou, and uh, Suicune. So those will be probably a separate event as well. Um, I assume, honestly, every legendary is going to be a separate event. It's not gonna be like, Every, you're just going to start randomly seeing legendary raid bosses. I, before I move any further, I've been confused a lot of you guys, I'm just going to finish this off. So, so if the trainers in Chicago succeed in defeating the legendary Pokemon, that Pokemon will start appearing in raid battles around the world after Pokemon Go Fest. I'm pretty sure that is taking place on the 23rd, the day after. So basically in the video, on the trailer, it just showed like everyone was just receiving an in-game legendary raid pass. So I assume that's going to work is you're just going to get a notification saying, hey, you are invited for a legendary raid and a legendary raid pass is going to show up in your inventory. And then you are going to only get one because I know there were some people asking like, if I'm at GoFest and I get the legendary, say I go back home the next day and see a legendary raid or whatever, can I still participate in that? You might, Niantic might send you another raid pass, but because you might have to register at the event to get the raid pass, and then when Niantic like globally sends out raid passes uh, where everyone gets one raid pass, you might have like be able to double up on that. I don't know if that's how it's gonna work, but uh, every other trainer that maybe, that's only for people at Grand Park though. For every other trainer that's not at Grand Park, you're gonna get one legendary raid pass, and then legendary raids are gonna be showing up in your cities around the world. I, I've assumed they're gonna be shown in high frequency, because not everyone can really travel too far. It's kind of probably gonna be like, you guys know where regularly raids are spawning in your areas right now. Uh, just be on the lookout for those after the event. That's if we unlock the legendary Pokemon, by the way. And then you'll have one chance to beat it and then you're gonna to have to catch it. Because as you guys know, some people were saying, oh, if, if you just beat it, it just shows up in your inventory like you got it. No, 96 specifically says, if trainers and their teams are able to successfully defeat a legendary raid boss, they will have an opportunity to catch a legendary Pokemon of their own. Keep in mind though, let, like, if you do actually catch a legendary Pokemon, you cannot place that one in gyms. It can only be, it can only be for attacking. Niantic uses the reasoning that they're not willing to leave their trainer's side so they can't left to defend gyms. <laughs> so it seems as though legendary Pokemon are very loyal. There is an opportunity for a legendary Pokemon for to flee you, which that sucks. And if it flees you, uh, if it flees me, I'm probably gonna cry. <laughs> I know many other people maybe would too, or just get super upset, but if they're gonna have the opportunity where a legendary Pokemon can flee you, I think they're gonna actually re like have it so legendary raids for Pokemon for legendaries, they're gonna re, like, I don't know, there's probably gonna be other times to catch that legendary Pokemon, because it would suck, like if it's only a one-time deal, you miss it and you can never catch it again. I think that would be, that's the wrong way to go about it. So I feel as though after it, you'll have another opportunity to catch it maybe somewhere down the line if you did actually end up fleeing you. Uh, so yeah, no, no sign of Master Balls. 
I don't think Master Ball, I don't think Niantic's gonna be nice and give everyone Master Balls to catch the legendaries. I really don't think so. Maybe they'll give you one, and if you wanna use it, you can use it on your favorite legendary and risk it. Uh, kinda like how in the games, you only get one Master Ball. Yes, there's like ways to get multiple ones, but originally, basically the point is you're only supposed to get one Master Ball, so maybe they'll give one, and if you wanna use it on this first legendary, go ahead, but you're never gonna get another one then. Like, that could be an option too, but I don't know. And also, like I said, it's only gonna be one legendary, and in the in the video, it showed like 60 hour to countdown, so that's over two days, uh, so that gives everyone enough time to like get to a legendary raid, coordinate enough people to take it down, and then try and catch it. A significant amount of time to actually get there, form a group of people to take it down and then try to catch it. And I, I believe it's gonna be high frequencies of people that are gonna, or, or of legendary raids, it's gonna be everywhere. So you, you should have no trouble finding them. It's just like, you're not gonna be able to do multiple of them because you're only gonna get one legendary raid pass sent to you. And now this could change. I'm not 100% sure on this. I'm just going off of the video and what makes sense in my brain. If you have any other suggestions how you think it will be, let me know. But yeah, so that's how it's gonna work. But now it's kind of like the tricky thing where we may not unlock it. There is also an alternate scenario where we don't catch enough Pokemon worldwide and the legendary does not get involved, does not get unlocked at Grant Park first and then it does not get unlocked worldwide. So that would really be upsetting, but I don't think, I think Niantic's smart enough to know like, we'll just keep it at a, there is some sort of limit to like the catches, but we're not gonna make it an unreasonable limit that's impossible to attain because we want to release these and get people hyped about the game. So I feel as though they're gonna be very reasonable challenges, uh, but there's different challenge windows starting on July 22nd. Uh, depending on where you live, just use like a time calculator. Uh, so these are all standard central time, Chicago time. Uh, the first challenge starts at 11 a.m. central time, Chicago time basically we'll just say, uh, and it ends at 11.30. And trainers worldwide need to participate in this to like catch enough to unlock the to unlock the legendary. So definitely participate if you are able. And then the next challenge window is at 1 p.m. Uh, till 1.30, and then the third one starts at 3 p.m. to 3.30, and then this doesn't really pertain to people not at Grand Park, then at like 7 p.m. if we unlock the mystery challenge, which is the legendary Pokemon, then we would be have an opportunity to catch it, and then if the trainers defeat it there, it gets released worldwide. Uh, this whole event is streaming uh, is being streamed on Twitch, so if you want to watch there, I don't know, I, I might be on shown on camera. I'm not entirely sure to see it. We'll see. So just basically during those challenge windows, catch a bunch of Pokemon. So now let's do a recap. Uh, there was a lot of information I covered there. There was one part I did kind of miss out, which is, well, how are we going to unlock the other legendaries? I'll talk about that too. So. At Grand Park, at Chicago, uh, if we uh, meet all the criteria, catch enough Pokemon during those challenge windows, uh, if we unlock that legendary, it's only going to be one. And that legendary Pokemon, then the day after, will be released worldwide for everyone to try and attempt to beat and catch. <sighs> but for those of you that didn't know, yeah, like there's events called the Safari Zone that are going on all across the world at different times over the next few months. Uh, so that's when we can expect to see these other, le like, these other legendaries appearing if they get unlocked at that event. And I assume... Because like as the video trailer shows, it's only legendary birds and Mewtwo. So I've maybe in the future, a little bit down the road, the legendary dogs will get released, and then the mythical legendaries. And then if another generation comes out, then those legendaries after. So I think this is a great way, a cool way, a fun way that legendaries get released. And if you're not able to go to these events, you're not like it's awesome like Niantic did it, where it's like if they they, they understand that if you're not able to go to the events like you're still gonna wanna catch a legendary so they release it worldwide. I'm really a fan that they did that, now making them event specific because not everyone can travel and buy plane tickets and buy these GoFest tickets, well, whatever. So other than that though, once again, thanks for Niantic for sponsoring me, bring me out to GoFest. It's gonna be an awesome time. You're gonna see that, like the crowd reaction to when whatever legendary it is pops up. I'm thinking Mewtwo, let me know your thoughts. Um, sucks that, well, I'm okay that we can't place it in gyms. And still unknown if we get a Master Ball or anything. Uh, we may get one, and then you can choose to use it on your favorite Legendary. I don't know. Or maybe there'll... Who knows? Maybe there's something you gotta do and unlock a Master Ball. Or just get lucky and catch it on your own. So yeah, it does suck that it probably can flee you. But it's Legendaries, guys. Covered everything, everything you really need to know. The unknowns are exactly how it's gonna be released worldwide. And how many are gonna show up in cities. And I'm like 99 point i'm actually basically 100 percent confident you're only going to get one legendary raid pass uh if you aren't going to the event and then so you cannot catch multiple legendaries because 
that would be kind of ridiculous. Uh, so yeah, you have one chance to get that legendary and catch it. Not sure on Master Balls, but hey, that's uh, that's all for now. If we know, if we get more information on that other stuff, the unknowns kind of, we'll let you know. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoy the video. I guess the other unknown is like how how, how much time it's gonna be there for. Yeah, but other than that, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Definitely leave a like if you guys decided. Let me know which legendary you think is gonna be appearing first, and uh, it's gonna be awesome. So hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later.